Hello, my name is Dante, and yeah, today I'm gonna do something yeah, kind of different today. We'll be doing a spoiler review, yeah, of M19, yeah, also known as Magic 2019, which will be this July. Yeah, kind of funny, they make a, the M19 in, in 2018. Like they did for all the course sets, like 2010 was actually in 2009, 2011 was actually in 2010, yeah. Even M15 was in 2014, but, but, yeah, the welcome sets were made in their correct year. Not sure when will the welcome set 2018 will be released, but let's go on into M19. By Mythic Spoiler, these are what will be coming. Johnny is actually, well, Johnny's gonna come. Plus one. Yep, four mana, four loyalty planes. Well, okay, that's good already. Plus one. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each of to two target creatures. Wow. Minus two. Return target creature card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And minus seven, you get an emblem with at the beginning of your end step, create three one one cats with lifelink. This one is actually resplendent resplendent. Angel, which is a free mana, free free angel with flying. And if you have each end step, even your opponent, if you gain five or more life this turn, create a four four angel with flying and vigilance. Oh yeah, if you gain five or more life in one turn, you get a Sarah angel, and for six mana, on twelfth turn, it gets plus two plus two and and gains life link. Yeah, this is actually. And then that one I don't know its name but it's an Italian but I think I know what it says. I think it says you can sacrifice it to Zhao all cards from target player's graveyard I think. Then it's a Johnny's last stand it does well, it's a four man enchantment. Whenever a creature or planeswalker you control dies, you may sacrifice the Janice last stand to get a four four avatar with flying. Whenever spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard a Janice last stand, and if you control planes, create a four four avatar with flying. Really bad, a Janice last stand. The first two were good. The the uh, spirit. The cleric spirit is actually kind of good. Mentor of the Meek is actually getting reprinted, which is nice. Free mana, 2 2, human soul. Sure. Whenever another creature of power 2 or less enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay 1 mana to draw a card. A Jandy's Prime Mate even is getting reprinted. Yeah, a, a card that's very featured in Oloro Commander decks. Yeah, it's in Oloro, Oloro Commander decks in the pre-con already. Two mana, two two cat soldier with. Whenever you gain life, you may put a plus one plus one counter on a Janice Prime Mate. Then it's Herald of Faith. Yeah, Herald of Faith is actually quite good, I think. Five mana, four free angel with flying, and when it attacks, you gain two life. Yeah, every time it attacks. So yeah. That's good. It's kind of like a lifelink, but weird. Yeah, something like that. There's a Melita Buggler. Yeah, it's kind of good. It get, it gets you solutions, but it has to be power two or less. If you find a creature, three mana, two, three, four cards, vigilance, good. Shield Bear. Maybe before. Before. 
ro rotations. There might actually be a horse deck. White black with shield mare, crested sun mare, and nightmare, but I don't know. There aren't that many horses, and anyway, the horse tribal card is rotating out. But there is actually kind of a lot of life gain in white in Magic 2019. There is a cavalry drill master. Two mana, two, one human knight with one hand with outfield. Target creature gets plus two plus zero. First strike on target. Wow. Wow, wow. Well. That's actually kind of like a pauper staple. Or will be. And yeah. Literally, most of the. Most of the keywords in this set will actually be. Will actually have the reminder text. Like. Like Milita Buckler has reminder sets for vigilance and Cavalry Drillmaster for first strike. Daybreak Chaplain is even has it. So two mana, one free human cleric of life link. Wow. Well, well, yeah. And Dwarven Priest is actually kind of good as well. If you have lots, if you're using a token deck or lots of creatures, whenever when it enters the battlefield, you gain one life for each creature you control. What if you have a conjurer's closet? You'll be gaining a lot of life. Yeah, or stuff that can let you blink or flicker creatures. Yeah, actually, there is a difference between blink and flicker. Blink is actually like it, like it's instant, but flickers at the end step. Inspired charge is getting reprinted, which is actually kind of good. It was, it, yeah, actually it's good, I think, because it's a four mana instant. Yeah, the instant just like changes everything, I think. Creatures you control get plus two, plus one, and two end of turn. Very good. Wow, never knew that was gonna get reprinted. Not sure if good enough in Pulper, but yeah, uh, Knight of the Tusk is getting reprinted, which didn't. There's, which I didn't knew was gonna get reprinted. Six mana, three seven, human knight with vigilance. Wow. Uh, yeah, and he's riding an elephant in the yard. You see, horse. Who needs a horse? <laughs> That's such a funny flavor text. Yeah, and it has the reminder text, reminder text. In case if you're just a beginner and you don't know, but you might already know what they what these keywords mean. Yeah, Knight's Pledge is good as a two mana two two no. Enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus two plus two. Basic is that. Not good at all. I think that's a reprint, Knight's Pledge. But lots of own line breaker is getting reprinted really bad. Three mana, three to elephant soldier. That's it. Nothing else. And Luminous Bonds is getting reprinted. Yeah, from Rivals of Italian. Three mana enchant creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. It's kind of a hard removal. The uh, luminous bonds, but yeah, because, but the creature is still there. It's just like it won't do that much if you do it on a scarab god. Mighty leap is getting reprinted. Like <coughs> okay, yeah, the might mighty leap is just. Yeah, kind of good. Two mana instant. Target creature gets plus two plus two and flying into end of turn. Reprinted. Yeah, from some sets, yeah. Yeah, but that's the Ammon Cat heart there. Orek Oreskos Swift Claw is getting reprinted. A uh, Pharaoh set, I think. Two mana free one cat warrior. Huh. <laughs> Funny. A cat warrior. And then it's Pegasus Courser, like. Yeah, 
It was just like printed like in Dominaria. Not sure if it was printed in other sites, Pegasus Corsa, but they're reprinting it already. <laughs> Revitalize is good there. Two mana instant, you gain free life, draw a card. Yeah, that's good. And Frostwing's Falcon. That's really good. Especially in Popper. One mana, one, two, bird with flying as a common? Wow. Never knew that was. That actually existed. That's OP. Then there's a Star Crowned Stag. Four mana, three, three with. When it attacks, tap target creature defending player controls. Good. We're attacking, yeah. Good, good. Take vengeance? Wow. Two mana sorcery destroy target tapped creature. Good. Good removal, actually. It's kind of cheap. Like, cast down or seal away. Yeah, it's kind of seal away, but like, it's n not sure if it's. But yeah, seal away is like an or. It's like an enchantment, but at instant speed, when that is a sorcery. I think Seal Away is better than Take Vengeance. Not sure if that's a new print or a reprint. And Trusty Pack Beast is also there. 3 mana, 2 free. And it return target artifact from your graveyard to hand. Good. Like, Broken Soul Ring, get it back. Yeah, and yeah, any artifact in your graveyard, if you had to discard something, artifact, yeah, you can get it back. Kind of, I think that would be good in God Pharaoh's gift decks, I think. Let's go on to the blues. We start with an Omniscience. Omniscience? Wow! That's actually gonna get reprinted. I never knew. Really powerful. OP. 10 mana enchantment. You may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana costs. See how OP that is? You can cast anything for free with an omniscience. Then. Yeah, really good. Never knew it was actually going to come to standard. Then there's a Nexus of Fate. Seven mana instant. Instant! What? Take an extra turn after this one. If Nexus of Fate will be put in the graveyard for anywhere, reveal Nexus of Fate and shuffle it into its owner's library and said, I never knew there were instant speed. Take an extra turn cards. Like, I never knew. I thought they were all sorceries. This is actually possibly an infinite combo with Elite Arcanist. Because Elite Arcanist, it's our Nexus of Fate. Pay 7 mana, cast a copy of Nexus of Fate. You have an extra turn, then you then uh, untap Elite Arcanist as normal. Tap it to and pay seven mana to cast Nexus of Fate. That's actually an infinite combo of an uh, infinite turns combo. Then there's a metamorphic alteration. Two mana aura enchant creature and choose a creature. Enchanted creature is a copy of the chosen creature. Good. Good reprint are gonna do that. Patient rebuilding. Five mana enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent mills free, then you draw a card for each land milled this way. And look at this! Nickel Bolus in the art. There. I think that's a new print, I'm not sure, but. Horizon Scholar is a reprint. Uncommon this time. When it was common in, in a Pharos set, I think Pharos even. New, a new horse? 
What? Ah, uh, never knew they were actually gonna make a horse. Oh, mirror image is getting reprinted as an uncommon. Wow. Well, may you not be that good. Enter the field as a copy of any creature you control. Wow, good. Skilled animator. Free mana, one free human artificer. When there's a vast field, target artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base power toughness 5-5 five, five for as long as skilled animator remains on the battlefield. Good! Turns something that's not even a creature like a Tormod script into a 5-5 five, five Tormod script, for example. Exclusion Mage is gonna be there. That's actually kind of a good removal creature. Bouncing. Yeah. Then there's Sleep. Four mana a sorcery. Tar tap all creatures target player controls. Those creatures don't untap during that player's next untap step. You're actually gonna do two big pushes. This will be good on a, on yeah, very good. In an aggressive deck, I think, or control, yeah, sleep, cause they won't even attack next turn, yeah. Surge area, two mana horse fish. Oh, it's a seahorse, literally, a seahorse. Wow, funny. Two mana, zero five horsefish can't be blocked by green creatures. When it deals damage to an opponent, you may loot. It has two mana, gets plus two, minus two until end of turn. Kind of interesting here. Plus two, minus two for two mana. Two mana, zero five, very good. Anticipation? I meant anticipate what? What? It has the Zendikar battle for Zendikar symbol. Not sure if actually gonna be it's if it's actually gonna be a true, true, uh, reprint or spoiler. Anticipate. I don't understand it. Wow. And Avon Wind Mage. Yeah, that's that's from the new one. Yeah. Free mana, 2-2, two, two, bird wizard with flying. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, plus one, plus one, and turn is turn. Good. Cancel? What? Again? I haven't get it. Is that going to be in the new set? I'm not sure. This burst the same thing. That was actually ro rotated out. This burst was actually rotated out of standard a while ago. So they go like, it was in Welcome Set 2016. Yeah, and then we got re rotated as well. Like, it was in Magic Origins. Well, I think Magic Origins was in Standard during Welcome Set 2016, I think. Not sure. But, post, I'm not sure if this burst will be in. In the new set, may come back to standard, but there is a a better card. Divination is getting reprinted. Why? There are secrets of the Golden City and got reprinted in Dominaria. Why do they want to reprint it again with the Pharaoh's art and the yeah and the Conspiracy Two art? That's the same art. Free mana, draw two cards. When there is the when there is uh, the secrets of the golden city instead has a ascend and if you have to say blessing it's draw three cards instead of two for free mana and there's dwindle free mana in enchant creature enchanted creature gets minus six minus zero wow Uh, when it blocks, it's destroyed. Ow. And the art is actually kind of weird. It's very powerful. 
gun though. Frailed sea serpent. Six mana four six. Serpent with seven mana can't be blocked this turn. Good. Think. Gear Smith Prodigy. One mana, one two. Gets plus one plus zero as long as you control an artifact. Kind of like get two lava runner in some case. Well, get two lava runners if you have spell mastery gets plus one plus zero and haste. But that's if you have an artifact that gets plus one plus zero. Well, there is Inventor's Prodigy, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, which is like the red version of Gearsmith Prodigy, but Ghost Form is actually good. And Almond Speaker? What? A Conspiracy sim, we're not sure if it's actually gonna get reprinted. Almond speaker. Wow. That card is actually kind of weird. The flavor text and the art. Oh, there is Salvager of Secrets, which is good, yeah. I think oh yeah. oh yeah, it's actually kind of good. Five mana two two Merfolk Wizard with when there's battlefield, return target innocent or sorcery card from your graveyard to hand. I think that's better than Minimonic Wall. Hmm. What? Scholar of Stars. For, man for mana. Free 2 human artificer with when to battlefield. If you control an artifact, draw a card. And of good, I think. Snapping Drake. Getting reprinted from. Magic 2010 and something else. 4 mana free to flank. And that's even a poster in my room. Huh. Just. Look at this. So, look. Uh, there. Uh, uh, there. Yeah. Be behind me. That's actually snapping Drake. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> right, it's actually getting reprinted. My poster is getting reprinted. Tolarian Scholar is actually getting reprinted from Dominaria, and it's a bad card. Three mana, two free human wizard. Totally lost. It's getting reprinted. It was in twenty five masters and. Dragon's Maze and and in Battle One and now in in Magic 2019. Wow, five mana instant put target non land permanent on top of its owner's library. It's like flip of it. It always hates crowds. Oh, there is a uncourt uncomfortable chill. I know. Nice, yeah. Free mana instant creatures your opponents control get minus two minus zero onto end of turn. Draw a card. Then wall of fist. What? That doesn't make sense. Wall of fist is a two mana zero five wall with defender. And in the same set, they're making surge mare, which is even better than wall of mists. Well. If you have a, a wall deck for poker or commander or any format, oh, you may use Wall of Mist instead of Surge Mare, but yeah, the five color walls or five color defenders, yeah, that's kind of weird. But let's go on to the black cards. Ah. Uh. Bone Dragon is getting reprinted. Wow. 5 mana, 5 4 Dragon Skeleton with flying. 5 mana, it's all 7 other cards from your graveyard. 
Return Bone Dragon from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Kind of hard to re revive it, but it's good. Really good. You must have, I think you must have like Escanta flipped for the Bone Dragon to be able to work. Kind of like because Escanta flips when you have Threshold. It's kind of like you need to have like at least Threshold, more than Threshold to re revive Bone Dragon. Then there's Open the Graves. It's 5 mana enchantment. Whenever a non token creature you control dies, create a 2 2 zombie. Yeah, that's actually kind of good. Zombies might come back even after the the, the rotation when Amonkhet rotates out. So like, when Enestrad rotates out, zombies was actually damaged. But Amonkhet had zombies, so zombies wasn't entirely damaged. Well, Dominaria had a few zombies, but maybe M19 would actually return zombies, like open the graves. And Death Baron! Wow, original Death Baron was actually expensive for no... For, I don't know why, but... 3 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Zombie wizard with skeletons and other zombies. Get plus 1 plus 1 and have Death Touch. Good. And there's a 4 mana, sit sits, yeah, 4 mana and sacrifice a creature for sit sits, demon of flying and trample. Infernal judgment, I think. 1 mana, instant, exile, target colorless creature, you gain life equal to its power i think well really op and look at this ulamog is getting crushed by a demon i think is that ulamog <laughs> yeah i think that's ulamog yeah that's a reprint awesome reprint with a nice art yeah grave digger is getting reprinted from other sets and also yeah from Amonkhet. Is Zareth the Awakener? Is that the first legendary creatures we see today? Well wait, let's check the other colours. Blue Black Wow There are no legends in white or blue. That's actually kind of weird. Free mana, free free human wizard with death touch. When when attacks, you may pay. X. When you do return to a creature card with convert to mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield with a corpse counter on it. If that creature will leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Well. It's actually kind of good. Free mana, free free death touch, and the ability. Well, anyway, if we actually find ways to remove the corpse counters, that's good. Well, then there's reassembling skeleton is getting reprinted. Kind of good. It's a two mana, one one skeleton warrior, two mana. Return it from your graveyard to battlefield tapped. Good. It keeps on coming back. Blood divination. Like, there's divination and blood divination? Funny. Four mana and sorcery. It's an initial cost to cast this spell. Sacrifice a creature. Four mana and sacrifice a creature to draw three cards. Kind of nice. Dire G, Dire G, Wrath, Ghoul, one mana, two two zombie with enters tap. 
it's getting more primitive over in the strat set. Oh, uh, grave digger, yeah, I mentioned. Murder? Yeah, getting reprinted. That's the. It's the Eldritch Moon Art, but that was in Magic 2013, and yeah, yeah. Corsetia yeah. Conspiracy 2. Wow. It's not work if you enjoy it. Nightmares first. One mana instant, you gain one life. Target creature gets minus such minus such on turn of turn. Or X is the amount of life you gain this turn. Or look and a Loro deck staple, I think. Nightmares first. Another horse is getting reprinted. Or printed. Three mana, two, two. If can't be blocked by white creatures. When it's in red food, creatures your opponent's control get minus one, minus one, and two end of turn. Wow. Another horse. Vampire Sovereign is. I think there's a horse for every color in the new set. Five mana, three, four, vampire with flying can win into red food. Target opponent loses free life and you gain free life. Wow. Abnormal endurance. Wow. Yeah. So two mana instant and turn of turn. Target creature gets plus two plus zero and one when this creature dies, return to Alfred, tapped under its owner's control. Bog Stomper? Six mana, six five beast? Wow. Child of Night is getting reprinted. Yeah, it's, it was in, a cons in Conspiracy 2 and other sets as well. I. Wait, Iconic Masters? Was, was it ever printed in Iconic Masters? I think it was, but... It's a 2 mana, 2 1 vampire with life, I think. Not that good, but... Then there's an Epicure of Blood. I think vampires will actually be something... Good in standard. With a few vampires in... Dominaria, the... Kaladesh... The two Kaladesh Averborn vampires. And the Itzalan vampires, yeah. Plus the M19 vampires, and it will be a good for vampire strategy, I think. 5 mana, yeah, 4-4 four, four vampire with, when you gain life, each opponent loses 1 life. Wow. Simple as that. Could be good in Oloro decks. Yeah. Many life gain effects. This. Infernal Scarring. It's getting reprinted from yeah magic origins and not sure what other set two mana aura enchant creature and enchanted creature gets plus two plus zero what has when it dies draw a card that's actually kind of good lich's Karis is five mana sorcery kind of expensive for removal but story target creature you gain free life sit well Skeleton Archer? Well, 4 mana, 3 free Skeleton Archer. With an interdiction, it deals 1 damage to any target. Well, it's not that good. It's a. It can be printed, but. Skeleton Archer is a. Skeleton Archer, like Lizard Warrior, is a Lizard Warrior. Sky March Blood Letter is getting reprinted. Which is actually kind of interesting. 3 mana, 2 2 vampire soldier with flying and went to the battlefield. Target opponent loses 1 life and you gain 1 life. That was in. in the. in its in land. Sovereign Spite. It's getting reprinted, I think, or printed. 2 mana, sorcery target player loses 3 life and you gain 3 life. Strangling spores, four mana instant target creature 
gets minus three, minus three on turn of turn. Bad. Two headed zombie. What? Four mana, four two zombie with menace. Really bad. I actually prefer two headed giant than two headed zombie. Because it's a four four and when it attacks, there's like a 25% chance of getting menace. Otherwise, a 25% chance of getting double strike and a 50% chance of it failing. And, well, not doing any effect, not giving it any keyword on the end of turn. Yeah, you flip two coins. Both come up heads, it's a double strike. Both come up tails, it's a... It's a... Menace for a two headed giant, but this is two headed zombie, always menace, but weaker. Common, not good. Walking corpse, two mana, two two, zombie. And blank, that's it? Two mana, two two, blank, zombie. No! Let's go to the red, because. Blank zombie does not work and well Apex of Power is the first red card there. Well Ten mana sorcery. It's out the top seven cards from your library. Turn of turn you may cast non land cards, it's out as worry. But not for free. That's kind of not not good. I think it's not that. It's not sure. I think it's really good. But if it was cast for your hand, you add ten mana of any one color. Good. That's after checking the the cards. But yeah, it's kind of good. Oh, another legendary creature. Then Alpine Moon. Is that the new blood moon? Well, I think. One red enchantment. As it enters Redfield, choose a non basic clan card name. What we know is that there is no swords to plowshares in the new set. And lands your opponent's control of the chosen name lose all land types and abilities and they gain tap at one mana of any color. Well, at least there are any color lands, but. Not absolute nothing. Dwar Dark Dweller Oracle. Two mana, two, two, zo Goblin Shaman. If one mana, sacrifice a creature. It's out of the top card of your library. You may ca play that card this turn. Uh, yeah, that's actually. They're the Reminded Ted's Laughless Dragon Queen. Six mana, six, six, dragon with flying whenever another dragon enters the battlefield under your control. Create non token dragon and create a 5 5 dragon with flying. Two mana dragons you control get plus one to zero and turn after, and that's good for yeah, dragons. Yeah, that's actually good for the, for the command, the dragon's commander deck. Yeah, laughless. Yeah, that's good, 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 and fun. Well, that. Huh? What? Okay. What? Okay. There's a fud there. One mana sorcery. It's an additional cost to cast a spell. Sacrifice a creature deals damage equal to the sacrifice. Creature's power to any target. Is that better than fling? But I think it is better than fling. Gutter snipers getting reprinted. Three mana two two when whenever you cast a minister spell. Use two damage to your opponent. Good. Good good. Uh Lightning Mare? Another horse is two mana three one elemental horse. It can't be countered. Can't be blocked by blue creatures. Two mana gets plus one plus zero to end of turn. Wow, it's uncounterable. Wow. 
even if, even if you have a non-blue counter spell, it still can't be countered, Lightning Mare. A nice horse there. Two mana. Yeah, Lightning Strike is getting reprinted. I sent... Oh yeah, it was always an uncommon. It was an uncommon in, in its land, yeah. Getting reprinted from the, yeah, Pharaoh Sort, I think. Lightning Strike. Yeah. Volcanic Dragon? That doesn't make sense. Glory Bringer is better. It's one mana cheaper and it has an insert effect. Volley Veteran. Four mana, four two, <coughs> Goblin Warrior with an enter that food. Use damage to our creature and opponent controls equal to the number of, of goblins you control. That's actually kind of a good. Yeah, four goblins will actually be a thing in standard. Now, Via Shino Pyromancer. Via, via Shino? What? Two mana, two one, Via Shino Wizard. When to that food, it deals two damage to our player or planeswalker. Oh. Act of Treason. No. Oh well, yeah, that's actually kind of good, I think. Act of Treason. It's it just lets you steal a creature on turn of turn. Yeah. Good, good. Gain taste and then tap it. Yeah. Catalyst Elemental. Three mana, two two elemental. Sacrifice Catalyst Elemental. For two red. It's like a extra mana for later, like it's for kind of like a storm deck, not sure. Not good, I think. Good for Omnath decks, I think. Electrify is getting reprinted. Not good. Four mana, instant. Electrify deals for now, shall creature. When there is. When there is is bombard and they are reprinting electrify bad 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 fiery finish really bad six mana to do seven damage to our creature really really bad and fire elemental five mana five four elemental I think it's getting reprinted, well, oh yeah, it's getting reprinted from, from Dominaria and way up, and many other sets like Battleborn, Iconic Master set, Goblin Instigator, 2 mana, 1-1 one, one Goblin, right, with Ranger of Field, create a 1-1 one, one Goblin, Goblin mo Motivator is a 1 mana, 1-1 one, one Goblin Warrior, Tap tower creature gains hate some turn of turn. And I think the giant there. It has a face kind of similar to Thanos' face, I think. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Funny. Hostile Minotaur. Four mana, three, three Minotaur of haste. Not good. Lava. At what? Five mana, sorcery. Deal five damage to our player, Prince Walker. And says, catch! <laughs> Onaki Ogre, Onak Ogre, whatever, yeah. Three mana, four two Ogre. That's it. It's just. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Shock is getting reprinted from Kaladesh, Ava Revolt, and many other sets as well. It originated from Stronghold Shock. It was actually an old card, Shock. Well, and that's the Kaladesh or and Ava Revolt, Ava Revolt art. Yeah, because it was in both sets with the same art and same flavor text. Smelt is getting reprinted, so they might not have to use Shatter anymore. Because Smelt is much better, because it's cheaper, same speed. Spark Tongue Dragon. 5 mana, 3 free dragon with flying, 1 towards the battlefield, they pay 3 mana, and if you do, you have 3 damage to any target. 
So potentially it's a 5 mana 3-3 free free flying wind into a food. You may literally cast uh, an open fire. Kind of like. Sure Strike is getting reprinted. Better than Thunder Strike. Which was reprinted in in Battle Bond Thunder Strike, but Sure Strike is wait. Wait a second. Again That was Battle for Sandicor and It's kind of weird again. Uh, tormenting Worlds as well. Uh, iconic Masters and Yeah. Uh, not sure if it's getting reprinted, but it wasn't printed in reprinted in Shadows of Rinstrad and Ammon Kit. Not sure if they're gonna reprint it in M19. I don't think so. But Trumpet Blast, it's actually kind of good. Yes, yes for a big push. Dominaria and Magic 2019, they might you might see a lot of all and also the welcome sets, you might see a lot of old cards in in a in a standard game. Like you might see a revised <laughs> revised Llanowar elves in a standard game. Like what? Yeah. Green, let's check this. Uh, Vivian Raid. Planeswalker though. Five mana, five loyalty, planeswalker, Vivian with plus one. May look no, look at the top four cards of, of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card from among them and put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Minus three distort or artifact, enchantment or creature flying. That's literally a bring to the ground kind of like yeah, I think. I think it's called like that. My side, you get an emblem with creatures you control get plus two plus two and have vigilance trampled in indestructible. Wow, scape shift is even getting reprinted. That's like good in a in a yeah in in the Valakut modern deck, but it's getting reprinted in standard. The Smithic Gore Claw. A legendary bear. Huh. Another legend I'm seeing there. Four mana, four free bear. Of creature spells. You. Yeah. Oh, it's actually a big set. Creature spells you, you cast with power four or greater cost two less to cast. Wow. Uh, oh. Hello, MTG strategy strategist. I'm good. You? Oh, another elf lord is there. Yeah. Hmm. You think M19 will be a success or or not? Just like the video, share with friends, and subscribe. Yeah. Two mana, one one elf druid with oh, for elves you can target plus one, plus one plus one, and six mana tap. Search your library for an elvish clan caller, which is the name of this card. Put it into battlefield and shuffle your library. Good. Gigantosaurus, another dinosaur, yes. Yeah, me too. I think I think it'll be very fun with lots of cool Reclamation Sage! Yes! That's getting reprinted! Awesome! Reclamation Sage. Yeah, and Gigantosaurus, 5 mana, 10, 10 dinosaur. Blank. Well, and it's a rare. Can't you believe it? Blank creatures should be like uncommon or common, and it's a rare blank creature? Never seen before. A rare blank creature. And then there's a Japanese card. I can't figure out what is it. I think it's a Hydra. Yeah, but like Edge plus one plus one. And to remember with X plus one plus one counter, that's the only thing I can understand, I think.
add some wood and green at zero zero. If you know this language, just type down the translation in the live chat, in the top chat, stream chat, or in the comments. Yeah, and like, subscribe, and then there's a prodigious growth. I that say chant creature and chanted creature gets plus seven plus seven and has trample. Does this matter? Good. Vivian's invocation, seven mana sorcery. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Whenever a creature is put onto the battlefield this way, it deals damage equal to 12 to 12 creatures upon controls. Good. Recollect. It's getting reprinted, but not that good. Because there is a card that's better. It's two mana instead for free. Instead of free mana. Colossal Majesty? What? An enchantment, that's kind of good. <laughs> kind of good, I think. Declare dominance, well. Huh. Funny card. Is that lots of gorillas in there? Fine mare. Another horse. That, I think that's the final horse of the. Yeah, there is one for every color. Four mana, five free elemental horse. Heads proof. Can't be blocked by black creatures. Creed of the, of the, the, of the cowl, I think, yeah. I think it said, it's, it's cowl, yeah. Bristling boar. Four mana, four free boar. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. Centaur cur cursor. Three mana, free free. Centaur warrior. Colossal dreadmoss gang reprinted. For the third time it's going to get reprinted a lot of times i think the colossal dreadmore yeah six mana six six dinosaur of trample that's kind of funny it was printed in itzalan then in rivals of itzalan 25 masters which i don't think it's a master at all and and the how did and this Magic 2019 set, well, because there used to be like an 8th edition or 9th edition or 6 mana 6 for a worm, but then there's a worm of the cow, I think, which was like a 6 mana 6 six worm, so that, so the mono green pauper elves changed a bit to the 6 six worm, and now, and Colossal Dreadmoor now uses the Colossal Dreadmoor instead of the worm. Elfish Rejuvenator, 3 mana 1 1 elf druid. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them to rat of your tap. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. A ramp, but not as good as the other cards. Okay. Gast Park Twins. Seven mana seven seven tree folk with trample and can block at an, an extra creature each turn. Well, giant spider is getting reprinted from Ninth Edition and and Amon Cat. Yeah, Highland Game is getting reprinted. Well, from Camps of Tarkir, Oaken Form. Wow, Oaken Form is getting reprinted again. Yeah. From Magic Origins, Magic 2016, Magic 2, no, yeah, Welcome Set 2016, Welcome Set 2017, and now Magic 2019. Plummet is getting reprinted. Wow, funny. Yeah, that's good because, oh well, yeah, there's Plummet in, in, the, in the set, in and rivals of Itzalan when then they re when they made a worse version of Plummet called Pierce the Skies in Dominaria which was seven damage to target creature flying. This was direct destroy and now getting reprinted. Rapid bite is getting reprinted. Hmm. It's kind of weird the art. Like there's a bit 
Is that a bear or a werewolf? Like attacking this man and that and surprise defense bites his arm. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Deal damage. No creature control deals damage equal to its power to target creature. You don't control. <laughs> Lifelink would actually be very effective in this case. Fornhide wolf. It's like a one-sided fight. That's not necessarily a fight. <laughs> five mana, four, five wolf. Really bad. Getting reprinted from in this from Shadows of Innistrad. That was getting reprinted from Shadows of Innistrad and Welcome to 2017. Titanic Growth. It's getting reprinted from Magic Origins. Good. Titanic Growth. What? And also Wall of Vines. It's getting reprinted. From from way back, it it used to not have defender, but it used but walls can't attack, but now it says defender and reach. Wow, one mana zero three plant wall. Now we're gonna recap the creatures or just look at the creatures. Basically, at core claw. Really good in the oh, yeah. It has the when it attacks each creature control power four greater gets the zone and trample on the turn. Yeah, like it's a it's like the yeah, it's in the big creatures deck stompy card. I think, yeah, it, it makes a go to six mana cheaper because go to yeah, this is a four free, so that's. Four less to go to, minus two for gore claws effect. You just need a a four powered creature, which is easier to cast. So then you can cast Gauta for two mana already. This spirit cleric with flying and I think it says sacrifice it. Exile. Target graveyard. And then there's the Izareth, Bone Dragon. Well, good. Chromium. It's awesome. Seven mana, seven, seven. A new Elder Dragon. Oh, new Elder Dragon. Huh. Yep, for Commander, exactly. Commander's Liri Elder Dragon Highlander, EDH, yep, 7 mana, it's an Esper Elder Dragon, yeah, Commander, 7 mana, 7, 7, Elder Dragon, Flash, can't be countered, Flying, it's got a card, on the end of turn, Chromian, Chromian, becomes a human, with base power and toughness, 1 and 1, yeah, 1, 1, loses whole abilities and gains headspoof, it can't be blocked this turn. Bad. Like, this effect, why would you... Oh, yeah, if you like... If it's, like, kind of like a buff to Chromium, like, you put enchantments, like, a, it's like a Tron, but it already has flying, which is another evasive effect. Chromium the mutable, like, you can mute Chromium, like... It should be Chromium the Unmutable. Doesn't make sense if, like, it says Chromium the Mutable, like, bad. <laughs> it, it looks, it sounds bad, the name, like, it can be muted. Doesn't sound impressive, I think. Or there, it can turn into, into a human. But it can protect itself from... From spells and evades everything. Yeah, the horses, nice, the horses. Oh, these ones are, and the green one is or elementals. Like yeah, this one and the green one could be in, could possibly be in, in, in Omnath decks. I think. Oh, shield mirror is a regular horse. Plague mirror is a nightmare horse. This is a 
horse fish. There aren't that many fishes in MTG. There is diamond mare, what? A colorless or an artifact is uh, two mana, one free horse is as an artifact to choose a color. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen color, you gain one life. That's just pretty good. Diamond mare. Child of Night. It's getting reprinted. Epicure of Blood. Huh? I don't know what does that say. Can everyone just tr translate this card? Because I don't know this language right there it's <laughs> but then there's like psychic symbiont six mana free free nightmare horror with flying when they're in trying food target opponent discards a card and you draw a card good draconic disciple another oh no wait that's not a dragon it oh tap for a one man of any color three mana two two human shaman Yes. Tap seven mana tap. Sacrifice it. Create a five five dragon. Aerial engineer. Four mana two four human artificer. As long as you can draw an artifact, it gets plus two plus zero and has flying. Brawl bash ogre. Four mana three three ogre warrior with menace. When it attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, brawl bash ogre gets plus two plus two until end of turn. End of. Nice, I think. Horizon Scholar is getting reprinted. This is this is kind of nice. Like it's kind of like Cloud Reader Sphinx, but it's a bit more expensive. But it's a four four instead of a three four. So four four for six when Cloud Reader Sphinx is a three four for five one. Huh? Resplendent Angel Palladia Morse, the Ruiner. Six mana six six Elder Dragon. Another one. Nice. This is for yeah, Naya? Yeah, the, the other one is Esper. This is Naya. Six, six, six. Flying Vision Trample. Has Hedge Proof. It has, if it hasn't dealt damage yet. Good. Good. Sister of Nicole Bolas. Survivor of the Elder Dragon World. The most vicious of her kin. What? Wow. Oh. Kind of nice. Also, the flavor text. Elvish clan color. Yeah, that's good because you can, because you can search for more elvish clan colors. Good. Satire enchanter. Wow. Better than Mesa. Mesa enchantress. When. This card will get printed or reprinted. Dark Dweller Oracle Folly Veteran. Yep, two nice goblins there. Mirror image. Oh, Vavictus Asmaudi, the Dyer. It's the Junt Dragon there. Yep. Six mana, six, six Elder Dragon. Another one, nice. Flying. Or attacks for each player, choose target permanent that player controls. Those players. Sacrifice those permanents. Each player who sacrifices the permanent this way reveals the top card of your library. Then put it on to food if it's a permanent card. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the chaos warp creature. Every time it attacks, that's what they were talking about. Wow. Laughless. Okay. Good. Nicole Bolus. Hmm. The Ravager. That's new. A uh, flip. Flip. Yeah, Transform is coming back. Yeah. Good. One and Gritsis for 4 4 Elder Dragon with Flying. Yeah, it's an Elder Dragon. Good. Flying when enters that food. Each opponent discards a card. 7 mana. It's out it. Then, yeah. Well, Flicker him. Yeah, Transformed. Yeah. I transform him, but it just it, it just blinks him, blinks him, and transform. Yeah, meteor golem. Wow, stat 
it's that's a kind of like a worse version of Ravnus Cheaper Cab, I think. Seven mana free free golem with enter starfield. Destroy target, non land permanent opponent controls. Enchantment removal and colorless. That's good. Well, Gearsmith Guardian, five mana free five construct. With gets plus two plus zero as long as you control a blue creature. Bad. Bad, but it look at this, it has the uh, a Kaladesh theme there. And this, and it was never in the Kaladesh set. Maybe never existed that card, I think. Field Creeper. <laughs> That's not what you want to see in Minecraft. I think, yeah, just a Creeper. They're yeah, funny. You might have got a Janice Primate is getting reprinted. That's good. Cavalry Drill Master. Skilled Animator. Wow. It's getting reprinted? An exclusion made. Via Shino Pyromancer. Reclamation Sage is getting reprinted. Wow. Vimeer. Yeah, that's good. And Reassembling Skeleton. Druid of the Cowl. Sky Scanner. Huh. Free mana 1 1 Fop 2 Flying when Interdraft Draw A card. Wall of Mist, Defenderia, Salvager of Secrets, and Travelhood, Return to Instant or Sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Well, it's nice. Goblin Motivator, Frilled Sea Serpent, Catalyst Elemental. Well, Tularian Scholar, Fire Elemental, Trusty Pack Beast, Knight of the Tusk, Gearsmith, Pro Gearsmith Prodigy, Rustwing Falcon, and Orescos. Swift Claw, that's nice there. Daybreak Chaplain, Dwarven Priest, Lordsidon Linebreaker, Goblin Instigator, well, yeah. That's like a worse version of Mog War Marshall, I think. Onake Ogre, uh, Omen Speaker, Two Headed Zombie. Yeah, Fawn White, Fawn Hide, Wolves, Wall of Vines, Highland Game, yeah, Giant Spider and Guest Bark Twins. It's kind of more like, more two-headed stuff, like two-headed tree person, the two-headed zombie, that's kind of weird. Yeah, weird, right? Type in the live chat, the stream chat or... Or top chat, yeah, or the comments. If you think that is weird in the new set, and remember, like, subscribe, and share with your friends if you liked it. Walking corpse, blank creature, no. Sky march, blood letter. Oh, grave digger, sky. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bog Stomper, Mentor of the Meek, oh, Snapping Drake, that's my poster over there, huh. just, you can check it out, there, oh wait, there, uh, there, that's my poster, uh, there, that's my poster of the Snapping Drake, just in, in, 2000 magic 2010 yeah as it says there and uh, yep magic 2019 will be <laughs> and why did they make the snapping break uh, a feature card for magic 2010 when it's actually really bad <coughs> I don't understand but maybe corsets weren't that good got your sniper Gigantosaurus, yeah. Bigger than a T Rex, I think, yeah. Elvish Rejuvenator, Death Baron, and now Instance, there. Now 
nightmares first. That's good. Good removal there. Maybe a new the new fatal push. Fatal push, I think. Uh, smelt. You had abnormal abnormal endurance. Murder. Mighty leap. Ow. It's jumping off a an obelisk <laughs> with two swords in hand, like uh kind of looks suicidal I think. Inspired charge. No, 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 no. <laughs> like why they don't even have the correct set symbol there. Oh yes! Infernal Reckoning, yeah, I did actually. I did actually know what it said. Trumpet blast, uncomfortable chill, revitalize. Oh, draw a card, draw a card. Plus one, plus two, yeah, minus two, well. And infernal reckoning. Wow. Wow. When these intruders are gone. Zendikar will be my throne, my palace, my playground, in the flavor as well, and it's a demon crushing Ulamog. How, how many, how big should be that demon to be able to crush Ulamog when Ulamog, Kozilek, and Emrakul are each of them very massive? Never knew they were actually demons bigger than the Eldrazi Titans. Look at this! He's squashing Ulamog with his hand! With one hand! His left hand! Strangling sports, yeah, and a, it's a good removal! You force your opponent, you, you, force, you force your opponent's walking ballista, possibly, or just, just scrap heap scrounger, also eliminated forever, yeah. Heart of Kieran as well. Wow. Infernal Reckoning. Just a Zalston. Nice removal there. They are reprinting. For one man and, and you gain life even. It's not like Swords to Plowshares. It's better than Swords to Plowshares, I think. I think. Totally lost. Trangling Sport. Electrify. Lightning Strike. Plummet. Titanic Growth. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Now the sorceries. Let's check. Scapeshift is actually ice. Now, Scapeshift is getting reprinted. Well, and FUD. Awesome there. And look at this. The goblin trying to hunt mice while it's getting squashed. By a big brute, I think, yeah. declared dominance. Like, oh, that's kind of funny art there. Blood divination, well, not good. And apex of power, wow, good. 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 Apex of power, sovereign's sovereign spite. And. Tormented, no, ignore that. Yeah, act of treason and lava. That's their divination. Wow, awesome! Yeah, awesome reprints are gonna be there. Recollect Vivian's invocation. Nice, there. Rapid bite, fiery finish, sleep. <laughs> Good. Good. It's good for stopping stuff, yeah, for a moment. Take vengeance and let's just care us. Wow. Now the stand enchantments, I think? Yeah. Let's go to check the enchantments out. Open the graves. Wait, there aren't that many enchantments. 12 enchantments in the whole set? Open the graves. Omniscience. Uh, metamorphic. Alteration, Alpine Moon. Yeah, that's kind of good. A Jenny's less. There's like Blood Moon, Blue Moon, Blood Sun, 
and now Alpine Moon. Yeah, there was a like, and also there's a ja there's a Jani's Last Stand, which isn't good at all. It doesn't deserve to be a rare. It doesn't. It's not good. It's like potentially a delayed four mana four four, the flying. Colossal Majesty, Inferno Scaring. Well, if you discard it, you get it. Uh, the 4 4 flying. If an opponent caused you to discard it, you can't go like Tormenting Voice, discard a Jani's Last Stand. Boom, turn 2 4 4 flying. No, it does not work like that. Like, for example, an opponent wrench mines you. Discard this in a land. Boom, you get a 4 4. Avatar of flying, yeah, good. Yeah, and then it yeah, has a prodigious growth, uh, patient rebuilding, knight's pledge, and dwindle. Now let's check out the artifacts. We don't know what. Crucible of Worlds, wow. Let's get reprinted, but still, there is the Ragmanap Excavator, which is kind of better, I think. Desecrated Tomb is getting reprinted. Wow. Free mana artifact. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, create a 1 1 bat. The flying. Wow. That's good in Marin deck and Graveyard recursion, yeah. Retrieval, yeah. Diamond Mare. That, which I don't know what that is. Is that? It's just some. It, it's in Japanese. I don't know Japanese. Just. If any of you just know Japanese, type the translation in the stream chat, top chat, or the comments. Like the video, subscribe, and share with your friends if you liked it. Sigurd Sword of Valorant? I don't understand what it says. Fountain of Renewal, wow. A one mana artifact at the beginning of your upkeep, you gain one life. Free mana, sacrifice and draw card. Really good. Fountain of Renewal. Ro ropes, gloves. Two mana in equipment and deals damage. Com when equipped creature deals combat damage to pay, you may draw a card and equip for two. Kind of basic. Meteor Golem. Because, yeah, core sets are usually basic. And Gearsmith, Gearsmith Guardian. Field Creeper. Oh, Mana Lift is getting reprinted from like a different core set. And also in in Hour of Devastation and now in in Magic 2019. Marauders Axe. It's not good. Dark Steel Axe is better because it's cheaper and it has indestructible. Sky Scanner, yeah. It's kind of interesting. Let's check the lands. That's it. Two lands in the set. No basic lands at all, that's weird. Just Reliquary Tower, which is good. Wow, for a Locust God. And Timber Gorge. That's it. Only Timber Gorge is getting reprinted? Yeah, from all the lands that were in, in, the, in Rivals of Itzelan and, and Oath of the Gatewatch and and in the Amon kit, uh, deck builders toolkit, and now the planeswalkers. That's it. These two. Well, what is the flip version of of Nico Bonus? Check. Well, Vivian Raid and Ajani. That's it. Only two planeswalkers. In this set, maybe because core sets don't have that much planeswalkers. Let's let's just check what is the other side of Nicol Bolas, which could be, which might be a a nice plane. Oh yes, planeswalker. It could be possibly a planeswalker commander. Yeah, because you just like run this as your commander. You can flip it. Yeah, Nicol Bolas the Horizon. Yeah. 
Nickel bonus the horizon. Wow. Seven loyalty, planeswalker. Just two, draw two cards. Wow. That's just a free divination. Minus three, deals ten damage to target creature or planeswalker. Wow. That's one big meteor coming to, to anything yet. Well, Garrix plus one is destroy another target planeswalker. Wow. But this could deal might deal ten damage to a creature, but it can do ten damage to planeswalker through which might probably destroy it. Well once I have a I had a Nisa reach thirty six loyalty. And commander just and also minus four for a target creature planeswalker card from a graveyard, any even an opponent's graveyard onto that field under your control. Minus 12, it's out all but the bottom card of target player's library. Kind of even better than... Than... Than Jace the Mind Sculptor's minus 12. It's like a, the new Jace the Mind Sculptor? Wow. Well, there are these nickel... Bolas. There. Yeah, that's... Good. Really good. <laughs> But that one's still better. The 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 original one, Nickel Bolas, Elder Dragon at two mana. Two two grits. So yeah, two blue, two black, two red. Seven seven Elder Dragon. Flying at the beginning of your upkeep. Sacrifice Nickel Bolas unless you play uh blue, black, red. When it deals damage damage to an opponent, even if it's not combat damage. That player discards their hand. Wow. Dominaria's most ancient evil. And the Cobolus Planeswalker. Yet yeah. there it's four. One blue. Two black. One red. Five loyalty Planeswalker. That's a plus three. Destroys our non-creature permit. Wow. You can even destroy land with that. Minus two. Gain control of target creature. Wow. Kind of like death fadence minus two. But it's simply to a creature. Instead of a. It's simply to an. This is to a creature instead of an artifact. Minus 9. Deals 7 damage to target player. That player discards 7 cards. Then sacrifices 7 permanents. Well. And the new one. Yeah. Nickel Bolas. The God Pharaoh. 4. 1 blue. 1 black. 1 red. 7 loyalty. Planeswalker. Plus 2. Tower opponent exhausts cards from the top of his or her library until he or she exhausts an on-land card. And to end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. That destroys Zombie Hunt, I think. Yeah. Plus one. Each opponent draws two cards from his or her hand. Minus four. Do seven damage to an opponent or creature an opponent controls. Wow. Powerful. Minus twelve. It's now each non-land permanent your opponent's control. Wow. Nickel bowlers, each of these cards were... Each of the nickel bowlers were OP. Wow. And I don't understand. Looks like Liliana the Necromancer is actually not gonna be in the set. Maybe it was just a teaser spoiler, like it's not gonna happen. Like it's like a teaser of it will happen but it won't. I don't know but it's kind of hard to yeah, I don't know exactly. Just remember like subscribe Share with your friends, yeah. Also, type down in the live chat, stream chat, or comments, which one of these cards did you like the most, yeah? Because I'm going to be ending the stream, I think. Yeah. Like, subscribe, yeah, comment down which one of these cards was your favorite and which one would you recommend me to use in the deck when it gets released. Or maybe even before it'll get reprinted. There are actually more new prints, I think, than what I thought. I think. Not sure yet. Liliana the Necromancer is not going to be a true reprint. Or, or true print. I think it was just a teaser. Not not real. I think, but... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this awesome stream of the new set
coming soon. Okay. Yeah. Coming soon on July 2018. Yeah, this, yeah, kind of funny. Like, of course, that's are funny, but yeah, Magic Origins was 2015. It was like Magic Origins, which was simply the uh, I don't, don't know, understand what, what was the symbol exactly. I can search for the, for that disperse to show you the symbol. Disperse? Where is this purse? Went into the rare, into the very rare parts of the net. Yep, check on the instance. This burst there. That symbol. What is it exactly? Like, and anyway, it's like, it was the, it was the set before Dragons of Tarkir, which then after Dragons of Tarkir was, was Battle for Zendikar. Yeah. Kind of good yeah remember to subscribe for all of you if you haven't already yeah just if you do if you subscribe there will be an effect going on there no uh there 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 will be like a, a running a running zombie there if you subscribe, just it will be, and also a fun sound will appear if you if you do so as well. You can just appear. Your name can just uh, appear if you subs if you subscribe. And yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subs subscribe now. Bye. Remember to watch my other videos too. Yeah. Like the video. Share with a friend. Subs yes. Just. Yeah. T yeah. Turn on notifications on if you want to check out my next streams and videos I'm gonna do in the channel. Yeah, and also watch the previous ones as well. Yeah. Yeah, last last time I I did the Locust God EDH deck deck, which was one of my favorite commander decks. Yeah. Yeah, that I built. Yeah. And yeah. So, yeah. And if... I know for sure if you want to check out my first podcast, it was top twenty best snakes. Yeah, check it out. Thanks for what. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now.